Moving is the one time when you are truly faced with every single item that you own. Hey, I'm Heather. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. On my channel, I share all about our minimalism journey. And in today's video, we are diving into another whole house declutter to get ready for our move. So we are about three weeks out now. We have decided that we are only going to take what will fit in our van and our car. So today I'm just gonna continue with doing some more decluttering and take you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we are starting in the bedroom and we're just gonna go through and grab anything that we know we're either getting rid of or donating. And we have a box here ready and we're just gonna kind of go through and grab everything that we don't want to keep and put it in the box. This pile of stuff has already been kind of sitting here waiting to be put in donation, so I just need to get like a big bag to put all this stuff in. And we are taking all of Judah's books, so we're just packing those up and putting those in a box and just keeping a few out to read to him until we move. And we're just kind of going through our other books here to see what all we want to keep, what we might reread, and what we want to donate. Okay, so now moving into the living room, we are planning on trying to sell our couch. We'll probably be getting rid of most of our throw pillows because we're not gonna have a couch to put them on. And I know when we get settled somewhere that I'm gonna want to just kind of upgrade and go for kind of a more grown up look. I just had so much of this farmhouse style decor that I really loved at one point, but it served its purpose for the time being. And so we're gonna go ahead and let it go now, knowing that when we settle in somewhere else, we'll probably be doing something entirely different. Okay, so this is gonna go. Same with this sign. I've had this for a few years now and we really enjoyed it while we had it, but time to let it go. Okay, so now going over to this shelf, I think there's a few little knickknacks over here that we're gonna be able to get rid of. This is from our wedding sand, so I definitely want to keep that. And my aunt had this made for our wedding, so I know I want to keep that. But I think some of these like, little smaller knickknack type stuff can go. So now we're going through our basket of games to see if we want to get rid of any of these and what we want to keep. Right, and then here in the bathroom, I know we're going to go ahead and get rid of this sign. And then probably this picture frame as well. All right, so just after one quick sweep through the house, we've already got all of this that we are donating. And one of these whole bags is actually, I think this one is all clothes that I had been hanging on to for quarantining, some that I knew I was donating that I had just been gathering for a little while and then some stuff that I was planning on selling that never did sell. So that's gonna go. And then some of the pillows and stuff in here. So all of this, we're gonna go ahead and get out. So I'm starting out with some stuff that was underneath the bed, all of my art supplies. And I'm just gonna kinda go through. <laughs> Got a little helper here. <laughs> 
So I'm just going to go through these and kind of decide what I might actually still use. I think some of the paints are actually not good anymore, so I'm going to go through those and toss whatever's not good. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through those and toss out whatever's dry up or anything like that. And this one's kind of tough. It's that whole idea of your kind of fantasy self versus <laughs> your actual self. And when I really think about it, I just don't have time these days to sit down and paint a lot or sketch like I used to. So I'm gonna try to just be really hardcore and think about whether I'm actually going to use these things. And just keep a few things for that rare occasion that I might actually sit down and paint. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through those and try to just get it down to maybe like one little box. And now there's a wind of change. I never ever felt this way. You're stuck in some of mine. Deep in some of mine. I think that now's the time. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching the flight, I'm coming home. Back to the place I've always known. All right, so this next tote is like mostly drawing stuff, I think. But like, I know I have this huge sketch pad that I'm probably not going to keep. I already know that I have a lot of old drawings and paintings in here, which I'm not really 100% sure what I'm gonna do with all of those yet, but I would like to get it down to just this one box, but I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. So we'll go ahead and take a look in this tote and see what we can do. So I just finished going through my art totes and there was a bunch of stuff in there that didn't actually belong that I'm going to put in my memory bin that I talked about in my sentimental items video. And I found stuff like my high school diploma, um, some old drawings that I want to hang on to, a letter from my favorite teacher. And so I'm just going to take that stuff all out and put it in my bin to save. And then I just had to go ahead and get rid of some of my old paints and things like that that I know I'm not going to use and just try to pare it down to a few special things and a few supplies for a rainy day when I might want to do a painting or something like that. All right, so we just pulled all of these totes behind me out of the closet. And even though we did a huge declutter of our closet and our entire house a couple of months ago, we weren't planning at that point to just move with our van and our car. We were still planning at that point to get a U-Haul or something like that. So. Now I want to go back through all of these and see if we can condense it even more since we are only going to take what will fit. So next I'm just going to go through all of these and see if maybe I can condense them down and if there's anything else that we can get rid of.
So I just found the little mobile that my husband and I made for our son when he was born. And it's really special because we made it together, um, but I don't want to keep this whole big thing. So what we are going to do is just cut off the little bear that we made and one of the little mountains and just put those in his baby box so we have a little memento of it. So I had this little tote that was empty that I cleaned some other stuff out of. So I decided that I'm going to use it to put our love letter box in, our wedding box, and our album that we have some of our wedding and engagement photos in. And that way they're kind of all consolidated in one box. So I wanted to show you guys, I actually did this last time I was decluttering, but in my sentimental kind of memory box here that I have for my stuff, I have this little tote full of old pictures. And so what I did last time I was declaring is I went through and I took all of them out of their old albums because those albums were so bulky and taking up a lot of space, but I didn't want to get rid of all of the old pictures. So it took me a while, but I took them all out of the albums and I just consolidated them into this one little tote box. So that really helped to save a lot of space, but I still have those memories to look back on. And eventually I want to go back through them and kind of get rid of any pictures that are blurry or, you know, not good quality. I figure I'll save that for when I have a little bit more time on my hands. Alright, so I got all of our totes labeled and the next thing that was on my list was to figure out where to sell or recycle my old laptop and it's really just an old Asus so I really didn't think I was going to be able to sell it but I found a place that buys old computers online and they offered $50 for it so now I just need to get this packed up and ship that off and that'll be one last thing that will be going in the move with us. And then we also sold our washer and dryer today and the guy just came and picked them up earlier. So really sad that I'm going to be without a washer and dryer for three whole weeks, but I am glad that we got a little extra cash and got those taken care of. All right, so the next thing I'm going to work on decluttering is my old, not really old, because my son's only 13 months, but my maternity clothes from my last pregnancy and now that I'm pregnant again I know that I'm going to be pulling some of this stuff out soon and needing it but I also know that I'm starting off a little bigger this pregnancy than I did my first one and I don't know if all of this stuff is going to fit still um, or if I even still like it so I'm gonna go through this next and see if I can kind of consolidate some of these and see what I actually want to keep. Yeah, I've been all around the world. Oh, every city, every place. Oh, always been a restless girl. Oh, but now there's a wind of change. I've never ever felt this way. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching the flight. Well, that's about all I think I'm going to be able to get to for this first round of Decluttering to Move. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And next week, I'll be sharing some more spaces in our home that I'll be decluttering to move as well. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.